Hi YouTube, I'm back with another video today and today I'm going to show you how you stream your Xbox One um, to either a PC, a laptop, basically something with a screen that's got Windows plugged into it via Windows 10 um, which is completely free to do, they're all set up ready to do this um, and for this test as well I'm also going to show you it on a basic wireless AC network um, and I'm also going to show you it on my Cat6 cabling that I put in the other day um, so let's talk about the wireless first um, for the wireless basically what I've done is the whole time the Xbox One is going to be downstairs it's left 3 meters away from the router um, so it's going to wirelessly transmit to the router and then it's going to come 15 meters up here to just a cheap wireless AC dongle that's £10 and the router again it's just an included one by TalkTalk Talk. it's their super router so just sort of your basic AC sort of uh, networking that you have you can do this on wireless N as well um, but they're saying the best settings you will get is at medium they say you can get high Microsoft recommends that you can get high but only um, girlfriend's hair band um, but only if it's all set up in the uh, same room so sort of defeats the point a bit but for the best um, for your best results um, I would recommend that you go network um, if you haven't got space you know if you don't want to take cables all the way through your house um, you could use a power line plug um, which I recommend to get um, a gigabit one but a 500 megabytes a second power line plug will work fine um, to transmit your data through the plug socket um, and then also minimum of a cat5 cable but if you're gonna buy cables you might as well go cat6 you might as well go gigabit so there we go that's everything we're going to use for the test and the standard and that's how you know um, it's done. So to stream it, this is what you have to do. First thing you need to go into your Xbox One, um, go to personalise, I thought I had a stream behind me. Um, go into your settings, I think it's under personalised, uh, under preferences um, and enable game streaming. That's all fine and you need to make sure you're logged into the account that you're going to use on your computer as well. So I had issues one day, I was like why is it not working and it's because my girlfriend signed in her account. So. Um, if we get it, so I went absolutely completely tongue tied there, <laughs> tongue tied, whatever, but I'm still doing it, my mouth's just gone numb, brain can't think. So basically, you need to have it as that you're on the same account, so make sure you, the account you're signed in on the Xbox is the account you're going to sign in on your PC, um, I'm going to show you that in a second, um, and the interface on the Xbox app for anyone that's new to that, um, and for the game, we, I'm just going to run Black Ops 3, just going to put Nightmares on quickly because I love playing that, um, and then just show you it, the wireless set at medium, and then the network as well on the Cat6 network and then I'm just going to give you my final thoughts on the whole Xbox One stream into Windows 10. Okay, so now that you've got everything set up on your Xbox, you decided whether you're going to go set up hardwired or you're going to go wireless, you need to get onto your Windows 10 device and load the Xbox app. Now there is something that comes up on the home screen um, showing you, just said, do you want to connect your Xbox anyway in one of the tabs, I just don't really want to show my sort of home page on that, but this is where you'd normally come to, down here near the bottom, See a little picture, it looks like an Xbox One, called Connect. Um, and then it's already found my console as well. If it doesn't find your console, I was having some issues earlier when I kept switching it between wireless and networks. You just get your IP from the network settings on your Xbox and put it in there and it finds it every time. Um, there we go, it's connected instantly because it's done it a few times. Um, then there's some other options here for volume, remote control, controller. You will not be able to use your PC controller, you will have to use an Xbox One controller um, either through a wireless adapter that you buy separately or just use a micro um, USB cable. Um, there's also more here where you can just sort of turn off the console and um, forget it. And then there is the uh, test streaming and stream as well. This is the wireless test we're doing first, and I'll set it to medium and we'll go up to high once we go onto the wide. Anyway, let's get this in there. So press stream and we'll connect into the Xbox. And here we are. Up the top here, you have a bar. Um, so you've got microphone, sort of go to the Xbox, um, stop streaming. And here you have a network as well, so you can check the network. Um, what it's free putting and stuff and then you have a quality second setting as well so we're just going to keep it on medium for the wireless anyway for now but um, you might be able to get high if you've got better equipment anyway enough of that get rid of the old network as you can see it's the full xbox interface i thought it would just be a game list but it streams the whole xbox um apps like sky won't let you then stream to another screen which is a bit of a nightmare but that's sky for you so let's get black ops free loaded um and here we go as you can see it is a bit pixelated Um, but the input from the controller is perfect, sound quality is good too, but yeah, it's just a bit 
bit pixelated. I'll try and have a look around. We'll do less about killing and more looking at visuals. And I'm about to get killed so I ran into all of them. Anyway, there we go. As you can see, yeah, on medium settings it is playable. But really, what we need to see is it all hardwired. So let's get all that set up. Okay, so we're all hardwired in. And you still find it's a bit pixelated. You know the Xbox One's underpowered, so I don't know if it's having issues. Definitely refreshing a lot quicker. It's a lot more of an enjoyable experience. test of it running on Wi-Fi and running on hardwire. So you've seen the results on whether you're going to run it wireless or whether you're going to run it hardwire um, and just my general thoughts on it. Yeah it's good, obviously it's brilliant, do you know what I mean? It's nice to be able to just hook it up in another room and start playing but you know compared to what Nvidia is offering um, and what Steam's offering, um, I've set that up at friends of mine a few weeks ago and um, I just think it runs, I just don't think it runs as well. I think it's something that needs tweaking, it needs some updates, but then I don't know if it's just down because of pure hardware. For example, he's got an i7 quad core computer and he's just gone out and bought a 980 Ti. So we've put all that, so for that, to render a game at 1080p and also encode it all and you know then the computer to send it down the network it's like it's nothing to it so I don't know if it's that the Xbox is getting a little bit overworked because we do know it's underpowered but either way um, it's absolutely a fantastic feature and I think you know it's 33% of Windows PC users now running Windows 10 so and most of you will be upgrading to it or buying a Windows 10 PC and if you've got an Xbox One and you know you can stream titles like Forza that you can't get over you can stream Halo over and you can just go and play it in your room and keep your Xbox in the lounge so um, for that reason I think it's a really good feature it just needs some improvements